A Connecticut man is accused of snatching his ex-wife from a parking lot, holding her hostage for 13 hours, and then setting their home on fire. Richard Shankman kept police at bay for hours, saying he'd booby-trapped the house with explosives, but police say no devices were found. During the standoff, he reportedly made demands, including asking for a priest to be brought to the house to give his ex-wife last rites but he finally came out of the burning suburban Hartford home around midnight Tuesday. It's very strange and scary. I'm, we're mostly concerned about his his ex-wife or wife right now, and hopefully she's okay, and and uh, he's okay too. And Shankman was hospitalized Wednesday in stable condition. Police say it appears the advertising executive suffered smoke inhalation. His ex-wife, Nancy Tyler, made it out of the South Windsor house about three hours before the fire began. It's not clear whether she escaped or was let go. Lawyers say Schenkman and Tyler have been through three years of contentious divorce proceedings. A judge granted the divorce last year, but Schenkman has been appealing. My husband sees him once in a while in the backyard and doesn't isn't friendly, doesn't say anything. You look at his house and you just wonder, like, what's going on, what's going on in there? Never seen him. Police said Schenkman will be charged with kidnapping, arson, attempted murder, and other crimes for Tuesday night's incident. He also has other pending criminal charges, including threatening, violating a protective order, and forgery. Diane Kepley, The Associated Press.